Hello folks, it's Daniel here from Shoe Create Captivate. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how we can get rid of all of these little bits of white lint that we see on the little boy's jacket. So in other words, all of these little white spots and little bits of hair we wanna remove from his jacket. Now the normal process would be to go in with a spot healing brush tool and start removing it manually this way. Now obviously, depending on the severity, this can become a time consuming process. Now, I wanna demonstrate a little bit of an easier way to get rid of those little marks that we see here. And what we're going to first of all do here is make a copy of our background. So we're gonna press Control J to create a duplicate of our background. And what I want us to do is head on over to the filter menu here, then go down to noise, and then we're looking for dust and scratches, right? So we're gonna click that once, and look at that. We instantly took out all of those little white marks on the little boy's jacket here. Now it does take a bit of a play around with the radius and threshold to get to the right amount for your specific image. Now in this case over here, if I bring down the threshold to zero, you can see that it kind of blurs out the entire image, okay? That doesn't look good at all, okay? What we need to do is start off with a value of say six pixels or five pixels, and then start increasing the threshold to get back some of the detail that we've lost, okay? So in this case here, for this specific image, I know that a threshold of say 19 or 20 works very well, okay? And obviously when we look at the rest of the image, things have gotten a little bit funky, but this is why we've created a duplicate layer, okay? I've essentially targeted all of those little white bits of lint on the boy's jacket. So if we click the preview marker off here, you're gonna see all of those little bits of white lint, okay? After Look at that, we've removed all of that. I'm gonna press okay here. And because we've put this on a separate layer, what I wanna do is I want to create a layer mask on top of that layer. So we're gonna go down to our layer mask option here, create a white mask on top of that, and we're gonna invert that mask so we can hide away that adjustment, okay? So I'm gonna press Control I or Command I on a Mac, all right? And then we'll obviously see that all of those little white marks have come back but obviously we've now got back our detail in our subject's faces, or the rest of the image essentially. Now what we wanna do here is click on our black mask, take a white paintbrush, set to the flow of 100 and an opacity of 100, and we're just literally gonna paint over just the boy's jacket here. Everywhere where we see those little bits of lint and those little white marks, we're gonna paint over that like I'm doing now. Look at that, we're getting rid of all of those little bits of lint, those little white spots and imperfection in his jacket, very, very simply, okay? Going to the edge of the, of the jacket here, we've instantly removed all of those little white spots. And you know, we've saved ourselves a whole bunch of time. We didn't have to go in and click on every little spot. We've used a much simpler process and all it's taken us is just painted or all it's taken us to do is just paint over his jacket and look at that, before and after. A very simple yet effective process. Now, uh, you're gonna see a lot of this on dark garments and you know, in some cases you've got people that's got a bit of a case of dandruff so you may see those little white spots on their shoulders or maybe on the collars of those, uh, of those garments and this is just gonna be a simple way to get rid of a whole bunch of those little marks on those garments very, very quickly. So you don't have to manually go in and click on every little spot of dandruff or every bit of lint like we have in this case over here. We've just used the noise and scratch and dust removal process to get rid of those little marks very, very simply. So there you have it folks, a very simple uh, tip today but I hope it's gonna save you a little bit of time in the long run when you start editing images like this where you've got a lot of lint on dark garments. So there you have it folks. Thank you very much for all of the awesome support and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.